Hey friends, happy Monday. It's another Monday. Yay. Yep. Um, so. So. Last Thursday, we did a simulcast webinar, Zoom. What do you call that? Yeah, it was a Zoom webinar thing. thing. We were supposed to be in Wales doing an on-site captivating event at this camp there called Kevin Lee. And so um, instead of being there in person, we did an event at the same time online that was live and which is now available on RH Play. It's a 90 minute new- um, It's killer. New content. <clears throat> Anyways, a couple of responders and it yeah. was really, really great. So yeah, RH Play, really yeah. good. But what I wanted to mention was um, here in Colorado Springs, they've opened up businesses. You can, you can have up to 50% of your workforce. Social distancing rules still apply, but we went and we did it at our outpost or ministry center and our team, a lot of our team was there. Less than 50%. <sighs> oh my goodness. Seeing people in person. I mean, thank God for zoom and all of that, but there is no replacement for being in person. So seeing their faces, yes. it was so nourishing. I yes. felt like something in my soul was, was building yes. up, didn't you? Oh yeah, yeah, we didn't want to leave. It was remarkable. In <laughs> fact, my biggest joy, <laughs> you know, we did, the, we did the simulcast and it was, it was beautiful and powerful and wonderful. And thanks everybody over there who watched and, and tuned in, it was wonderful. But my biggest joy was when Art, our sound guy walked in um, because I haven't seen him in forever and it was normal. Yeah, it was normal. And Here I we was, are in I a was normal place. stunned. I was stunned by the need for normal. And, and like, whoa, how good it was for our souls. It wasn't behind masks in the grocery store and, and it wasn't, you know, waving at the neighbors, you know, your window to their window. It was like a moment of normalcy. Now it was, odd because it wasn't the whole team and we were there to do a specific thing yeah. and we practiced the appropriate measures but still like so that that um and then i had another and then i had another experience i actually had to drive uh, up to denver last week to get some parts um and i hadn't done that in you know like nine weeks and it was remarkable to drive a distance you know, did it feel weird at first? It did. It felt like I was breaking the law, <laughs> although I wasn't breaking the law, but it was, it was, it was <laughs> remarkable and, <Yeah. clears throat> and normalcy. And what I was aware of was how much we need it. Mm. And, and so I know, I understand like it's different in every state and in counties are even different, but some ideas like, walk in a new place this week. If you can like drive somewhere and walk in a new place. And <clears throat> if you can see some people without masks on with appropriate distancing and all of that, we get it like just a little bit of normalcy. Um, you know, several weeks ago, I drove over to my son's house. I sat in the back of my truck. He sat in his yard in a lawn chair. I mean, we were like, you know, 15 feet apart, but we had beers. And it was so good. It was like, it was just a, a taste of normalcy. Mm -hmm. And in the simulcast that we did, a lot of it was around mental health in this time and what we're learning coming out of it. Like, like Christ coming for us now and, and what can we practice, you know, coming out of this. And so we just wanted to share like, I, th I think you probably need some normalcy, however you can get it. It might just be drive, drive to a store you used to go to or something that see someone across the street or do camp chairs, you know, 15 feet apart in the yard or something that just allows you an experience, lets your soul begin to experience some normalcy. Yeah. So for all of those of you that are listening, you can creatively think of a way, but we pray that you are able to do that, to come up with some way that you can do something normal because it's really gonna be good for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And recognizing that things are different in, in different places, but, and maybe you'll post, maybe you can, you know, as you react to this, you can post- Yeah, uh, what you did. What you did, or a suggestion, or mm -hmm. hey, we tried this, That'd or be great. that sort of thing. So just beginning to get some normalcy back you know, because when the story of this is told, I guarantee you, 
that the mental health issues will mm -hmm. end up being far greater than the medical and the economic. I guarantee you. Uh, and so we want to really, you know, this is just one more pass at mental health, soul resiliency. What are you doing to care for yourself? And it was really rather shocking how much we enjoyed simply seeing people, yeah. right? And seeing our sound guy, Art. So thanks, Art, and love you all. <laughs>